Hello children, welcome to another week. Last week, we learned how to make a peanut butter and jam sandwich. Hope you made the sandwich and shared with others. Today, we are learning about a lion at school. Please watch the video. A lion at school. Once upon a time, there was a little girl who did not like going to school. She always set off late. Then she had to hurry, but she never hurried fast enough. One morning, she was hurrying along as usual, when she turned a corner, and there stood a lion, waiting for her. He stared at her with yellow eyes. He growled, and when he growled, the little girl could see that his teeth were sharp as skewers and knives. He growled, I am going to eat you up unless you take me to school with you. Oh dear, said the little girl. My teacher says we mustn't bring pets to school. I'm not a pet, said the lion. He growled again and she saw that his tail swished from side to side in anger. Swish, swash. All right then, said the little girl, but you must let me ride on your back to school. Very well, said the lion. He crouched down on the pavement and the little girl climbed onto his back. She held on by his mane and she rode to school on the lion. <coughs> The little girl and the lion went into the classroom just as the teacher was calling the register. The teacher stopped when she saw them. She said to the little girl, You know you are not allowed to bring pets to school. The lion began to swish his tail. Swish, swash. The little girl said, This is not a pet. This is my friend who is coming to school with me. The teacher said, What is his name then? Noel, said the little girl. She knew it would be no good to tell the teacher that her friend was a lion, so she turned his name backwards. Lion, Noel. The teacher wrote the name down in the register, Noel. Then she finished calling the register. Betty Small, she said. Yes, said the little girl. Noel, said the teacher. Yes, said the lion. He mumbled, opening his mouth as little as possible so that the teacher should not see his teeth as sharp as skewers and knives. Then the lion sat down by the little girl, as good as gold. At playtime, the little girl and the lion went into the playground. The children all stopped their games to stare at the lion. Then they went on again. The little girl stood in a corner of the playground with the lion beside her. Why don't we play like the others? The lion asked. The little girl said, I don't like playing because some of the big boys are so big and rough. They knock you over without meaning to. The lion growled. They wouldn't knock me over. There's one big boy, the very biggest, said the little girl. His name is Jack Tall. He knocks me over on purpose. Which is he, said the lion. Point him out to me. The little girl pointed out Jack Tall to the lion. Ah, said the lion. So that's Jack Tall. Just then, Jack Tall came running towards the little girl. He was running in circles, closer and closer to the little girl. Go away, said the lion. You might knock my friend over. Go away. Shan't, said Jack Tall. The little girl got behind the lion. The lion began to swish his tail. Swish, swash. Jack Tall was running closer and closer. The lion growled. Then Jack Tall saw the lion's teeth as sharp as skewers and knives. He stopped running 
He stood still. He stared. The lion opened his mouth wider, so wide that Jack Tall could see his throat, deep and dark like a tunnel to go into. Jack Tall went pale. The lion roared. And he roared and he roared. All the teachers came out to see what the matter was. All the children stopped playing and stuck their fingers in their ears. And Jack Tall turned and ran and ran and ran. Out through the playground, out through the school gates, along the streets. He never stopped running until he got home to his mother. Did you enjoy the story? Now let's do a quick thinking back with these questions. Say whether each sentence is true or false. Have you thought about your answers? Now let's look at what you have. Jack Tall was a big boy. True. The lion asked Jack Tall to come and play. False. When the lion growled, Jack Tall could see the lion's teeth. True. Jack Tall ran back into school. Falls. These are some new words in the passage. In your spelling class, you were taught how to check up the meaning of words in the dictionary. Now use your dictionary to find the meaning of these words. Growled. Tunnel. Skewers. Let's also try this. Let's think it through. Small children can sometimes find the playground a frightening place. Why do you think this is? Have you thought about your answers? Well, I think to find it a frightening place because of being alone at the playground, because they are afraid of playing rough and getting injured. They also see crawling things. What sort of boy do you think Jack Tall was? Have you thought about your answers? Well, I think Jack Tall was a bully because the girl was scared of him. It is not good to bully your friends. I hope you've enjoyed the lesson. I would like you to listen to the story once again. Bye.